Hey guys, my name is Rudy, and here's part two. We'll give you a quick recap and uh, see what I did, see what I missed. Okay, what happened is, turn on my dryer, nothing, nothing happened. Went through and uh, ordered a brand new switch. The switch goes right there. I chose not to replace the metal piece because it was just fine. And then I put everything back together and it did not work. So, I found out what I did and here's ways to make the final adjustments. What you want to do is you want to loosen these screws just slightly, plug on the door. Actually, we'll do it real quick here just to get everything in here. Make sure you can see it. What you want to do is you want to loosen the door up here. Give it a good tug and then set you back down. And you want to go to the other side here. Same thing. If you want to loosen, loosen, pull, tight, tight. So I did such an awesome job on uh, putting this thing back together when meaning the door that if you look very carefully right here, this thing came all the way down. It was very flush with this. Here's the problem. These dryers have a switch, a very small one. I thought I broke it or something, but right here, this tiny little switch. And this switch is a little short. So the way we had it in there before, uh, it would close and it would not hit the switch. The gap is really, 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 really small. So what I end up doing is I end up taking my screwdriver and I end up going through this and just, just a little bit wiggling it, rising it up so just ever so slightly. Just the right side corner. And when you close it, that's what I saw it close. Now we will turn it on. And save yourself. So money. If you have any questions or comments, I always welcome them at Rudy World. Thanks for watching. Take care.